What's good people, it's your boy Anti Suave. We are back in the infamous new Bond Street, asking people about their fits. If people are wondering what I'm wearing today, head to toe in Reese and Ralph Lauren. Keeping it simple, keeping it old money with no money. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh. What's your name, what do you do? My name is Kunle and I'm a businessman. Yeah? What do you do? A business. I can't tell you that. I can't disclose that now. My name is Frank and I'm a student. Student. So <laughs> As a student. Student money is crazy. LV head to toe. Uh, my name is Rumbi. I'm a consultant midwife. Daniel, I'm a research engineer. Tina, I'm black in social media. Okay. All right, now talk to me about your fit. So who are you wearing from head to toe? Start with a hat. Uh, so the hat's new era. Uh, bag is, don't worry about the bag. Uh, we got a Ruti on. I think these are Zara jeans. Air uh, Force One, isn't it? Fresh whites. Yeah. No watch today, no? Nah, no watch. No Why not? Today, bro. Sometimes keep it humble, you know that. Yeah. You yeah. feel safe when you're watching London? Um, Your hesitation says no. <laughs> yeah, it depends where I am. Let's say um, Hackney, Brixton, Wood Green. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't wear it there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, head to toe. Um, this is Versace. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. And underwear that you can't see? Versace. <laughs> and then the bracelet? Oh, you saw that too. Cartier. I saw that too. You can't miss it. That's how much yeah, the outfit was. Honestly, I really don't know. Roughly, a couple of thousand. I know that's not really a that. A couple roughly. of thousand, more like ten k. Okay, maybe. Well, actually, that's the bracelet. But yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's five figures right there. So my hair is hair by Paula. She's in West Ham. Uh, my shirt is Masima Duty. Uh, my belt is a Louis Vuitton. Bag Louis Vuitton. Uh, jeans Masima Duty and Shri Kazara. And the LV glasses? Oh, LV glasses and LV earrings. Definitely. LV and Massimo Dutti. That is a nice fit. How much do you think your outfit is worth? Four figures? Uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely four definitely. figures. Definitely four figures. <laughs> no. Glasses, Versace, uh, Bottega bag. I can't remember. Coat abroad. <laughs> I can't remember what else. Or, um, I think these are Stradivarius jeans. On oh, the Tiger trainers. Belt, any jewelry on? Belt, Ralph Lauren. Ring. How much do you think your outfit's worth? I don't know, I'm paid. <laughs> Let's say four figures. <laughs> now on to you. Talk to me about your fit. So who are you wearing from head to toe? Exclude the Crocs, because I don't like them. Ah, okay, that was going to be my first part. I know, that's not cut him off straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Form of a function. <laughs> yeah, just, um, just a little, I think this is, this is Lacoste. Just. Mm. Bit of Levi trousers and just a Uniqlo top. Got and the Ray Vans. Yeah, nice yeah, 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 yeah. I like yeah. that. Now, what are your top three fashion brands? Uh, at the moment, to be honest, I like Rude a lot. It's here with me. If I see it and I like it, I'll buy it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, Brunello Cuccinelli, mm. uh, Louis Vuitton, of course, and uh, recently Gucci. Yeah. Hermes LV Dior. Mm. He looked at her for approval. Yeah, I think <laughs> you could pick for yourself. <laughs> I'd say Prada's, Prada's mm. one of the top three, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's got to be up there. Um, I like a bit of, bit of Burberry as well. Yeah, I think that's that's where I'd go to. Just I'd, I'd, yeah, just the two, just really, two. yeah. What are yours? Um, I'd say Prada is well, my number one. Um, Bottega, mm. and it's hard to pick a third. I would, I would pick Versace just because of just because of the Drake song. I know he's, yeah. I know he's, I know he's wow. down bad at the moment. Because of Drake. Yeah, Drake and Migos. Like, obviously, <laughs> I know Drake's down bad at the moment, but for that for that banger, you yeah. gotta have a space in your heart for that. Kind of, why do you buy designer? Um, makes you feel good, doesn't it? You feel like it's overpriced. Yeah. But you still buy it. If you, yeah, if you want it, you buy it. Do you know what I mean? It's one of them. Ones. See, when you got money, it's diff different. Yeah, I don't have money. Bro. Money's different for him. Money. If you see it, he buys it. It's I crazy. Don't, I don't have money, bro. <laughs> I don't have money like that, bro. Why do you buy designer clothes? I don't know. Um, it just kind of fits my personality, I guess. I don't yeah. know. I can afford it. <laughs> That's basically that the reason. <laughs> that sounds horrible. It really does sound bad. But no, I mean, I don't know. Um, they just have like designs that I like. So yeah. I like the colors. I like the. I don't know. I wear it for myself, believe it or not. So everyone each their own. Yeah, I kind of like to do a bit of investigation on the materials mm. and stuff. So typically, they invest some items. Are, they invest a bit more in materials. So you can. There's uh, some people online that do some research into uh, leather goods, for example, mm. and do tear downs and see how much the, the materials are, the makeup, the items are worth. And it tends to be that the, the more you spend on different brands, you kind of get better materials invested in the items, anyways. Do you feel like it's overpriced? 
Um, if you look at the workmanship, um, typically a lot of these designer brands claim that they're made in certain locations when it's only a part of it's assembled there and then a lot of it is actually made in countries where labour costs are a bit lower. Yeah. So some of them it's kind of a bit suspect buying from them when you actually get, get in to do your research. That's true. And why do you buy designers? Um, You're head to toe in designer. I'm not head to toe. <laughs> um, Majority. <laughs> um, for the quality I'd say and I like the stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't buy it if I didn't like the item. Do you feel like it's overpriced? Um, massively on a lot of the stuff, yeah. <laughs> like, especially, I'd say Louis yeah. is so impressed. Why we stand outside of it? I think it's, it just defines who you are, yeah. and it's something you work hard, so why not spend hard? True. Do you feel like designer brands are overpriced? Some. <laughs> some, not all, but some. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you had an unlimited budget, what three watches would you buy right now? I think Cartier Santos, yeah, white face, rose gold, day day. Unlimited budget? Unlimited. It's got to be a pack, isn't it? Yeah. I thought you were going to say RM. No, no, no. <laughs> Patek, no, no. which one? Uh, Nortalis, bro. Come yeah. on, bro. Nortalis? What is that? A Nortalis? Is that not a Patek? Nautilus. Bro, can Man I said Nortalis like this is a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're joking. I'm trying to get it. I know I'm trying to get it. I got it. I got it. It's too late. <laughs> The Brightlin Monaco, it was like a Monaco collection I saw. Probably by uh, Richard Milliwatt, just because, you know, I hear about it in rap videos. <laughs> uh, what's the one that Rick Ross brings up? Uh, a Hublot, a Hublot watch. <laughs> See, I mean, yeah, I mean, if I could, you know, if I could afford a 200, you know, thousand dollar watch, why not? So you know about watches because of music videos? Yeah, of course. <laughs> the best advertisers, they're the best advertisers for it, why not? I definitely have to buy an AP. Yeah. Which one? Um, I'm not really sure actually. I think another one I'd buy is the um, it's uh, a Hublot that's worn by uh, Johan Blake. Oh, yeah, it's a real nice. It's a real nice watch. I don't know if you can have a, have a look at it later, but it's a. I'll check it out. Yeah, I'll yeah. This video. Yeah, yeah. It's a real nice watch actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that would be one of the things I'd look to buy as well. Yeah. If you had an unlimited budget, what three handbags would you buy right now? I think I'd stock up on Hermes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All three. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> Which ones? Hermes. Well, uh, I'd have to think for that actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Birkin, Kelly. <laughs> I'd have to decide, yeah. but it would definitely be Hermes. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The I'd say obviously a Birkin because it's an investment piece. <laughs> um, but purely for that, I'm not a big fan of how it looks. Um, Chanel. Some of them are good investment pieces, a lot of the bags. I don't know. Just another photo. What country has the best dress sense? Oh, London, bro. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Why, why London? Gee, you see the best trip from London, bro. Yeah. 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 I hear it. You, bro. This is just a light fit. This is just the old money look. This is the old money look. <laughs> He's hating now. <laughs> Ugh, this sounds really bad because I don't particularly care for the people, but. I gotta say, probably Paris. Yeah. Uh, well, France, I say Paris. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Paris, France, most definitely. Um, yeah, I was definitely the most underdressed person there last year when I went, so yeah. So you thought, let's just switch it when you come to the UK? Yeah, I mean, I was like, you know, I can't keep getting outdone by Europeans. So I was like, so, you know, <laughs> yeah, because they were killing me last year, but no, no, yeah, definitely. So I definitely would say France, yeah. Monaco. Monaco, I like that, why? France, yeah. yeah. I think it's just it's just luxury. It's just luxury. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've recently just come back from Tokyo, and I yeah. would say that the fashion sense there is, yeah, there's, it's different out there. Yeah. 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 Agree. Agree. I'll check it out. What was your most expensive fashion item? I can't disclose that. No? Non-disclosed. I bought a suit last year. Um, Brunello. Or, no, a Gucci suit actually. Yeah. How much so pay for that? A Gucci collab with uh, it was Gucci and Adidas, believe it or not. Um, I say it was like 14. Uh, it was like 14k. Uh, so I mean, you know, yeah. Student money is crazy in America. That's what I'm saying. That is yeah, different you get on money. Your game. Yeah, yeah. You that, get on your student, student, game. student loan just spending the whole trip today ah. by the looks don't of it. Look, don't tell the government. <laughs> they don't need to know what I'm doing with my student I mean, money. Yes, they're, they're student money on the whole fit. Look at the fit. That's 10k on a student money fit. Yeah. Just I'd say one of my Prada bags. Yeah. Love for that man. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay.